Hi folks, this is Little Tunes 9000, aka Andrew, starting another summer of summer videos, first with a rant. Rant. A little English impression. <laughs> anyway, start off with, let's start off with the definition of soccer moms. As y'all know, soccer mom is broadly referred, is it? The phrase soccer mom probably refers to a middle class, lazy, middle class suburban woman who spends her significant amount of time transporting her, transporting, excuse me, transporting her school age children to their sporting events or other activities. Indices American Man, excuse me, I will not read that part. And they also have been criti criticized. The phrase has been taken on a negative aspect. Soccer moms are also sometimes accused of forcing their children to go to many after-school activities or preparing them in a concentrated cultivation rather than letting them enjoy their childhood. In 2003, this car factory Nissan, who had several years, according to the soccer mom image, Re repositioned its Quest minivan as a stylish, sexy, and desirable vehicle. And they, and they said, "If you the soccer moms, we were tired. We are tired of you. We, we have the, we did the soccer mom image for you. Soccer moms were lazy to take care of your parents and let them enjoy your child, their childhood, for seven years with that Quest minivan. Now it's time to let them." Us be free with the stylish, new style, sexy and desirable quest in 2003. That that was a big F you to soccer moms. Now let me say this. If soccer moms are watching this right now. Soccer moms are watching this right now. Let me say this. Shut the, f shut the frick up. And stop complaining to the media. It's not the television's fault. It's not the computer's fault. It is isn't the video game's fault. But speaking of video games, you know why video some video games at the rated M rating are getting complaints of by soccer moms because they think it's starting to get kids. It's maybe because they're teaching kids how to do violence. Oh, guess what, soccer moms? Read the ratings before you buy the video. Read the ESRB rating before you buy the video game, huh? Read that. And why are some movies getting complaints? And Eric, this is for you. Listen to this. This is one of Eric's favorites. One of Eric's favorite Disney movies. Excuse me. I mean, that's not for Eric. Sorry. This is for Ben. Puppies element four. Element four. From his Ben France on, on some moms. As he mentioned, they complain. Soccer moms complain that the prince Disney's The Princess and the Frog, <coughs> which is a hand-drawn animated movie from 2009 featuring black people, should get a rated R movie instead of a G-rated movie due to the use of Voodoo. What? Voodoo? Are you freaking serious? Read the ratings. Again, read the ratings. But ratings from the MPAA. Formerly the MPPDA. Again, I will repeat it to you, Sakamon idiots. Read the movie ratings. And why? And voodoo's not that scary. Plus, it's magic, okay? And I live in New Orleans. Who the hell cares? Who the hell cares? Nobody should be afraid of voodoo. Plus, there's a name after voodoo. Voodoo Barbecue Sauce Restaurant. Voodoo Restaurant. Voodoo Barbecue Sauce Restaurant. Oh, don't complain about that. Do not complain. I don't care. Leave that alone. Don't even start it. And 
Plus, speaking of that, they have to complain about television, too. That's why there's the PGC, the Parents Television Council, to be exact. But I'll get to that soon. But I'll get to that. But I'll get to that real soon. Anyway, as you know, there's been criticism of Ronald McDonald and all the fast foods do the junk food as they do the junk food as they serve. I mean, seriously, Ronald McDonald is the mascot of McDonald's, and he's also the mascot of Ronald McDonald Charities, the one of America's 100 best charities, named 2001 and 2002. My God, Ronald McDonald's a legend. <sighs> I'm sick of this. And plus now, they have a, a criticism. Now in April 2011, McDonald's has announced that Ronald McDonald will reappear in their commercials. However, Ace Matrix says Ronald McDonald ads will no longer affect, are no longer effective. On May 18, 2011, Corporate uh, Ability International renewed their call to retire no, Ronald McDonald. I, um... Uh, like that, but then one day, one one bright Sunday morning, when I was going to school uh, for the few the last few weeks of school, I was listening to WWL radio. They were talking about uh, if they were going to retire Ronald McDonald, and they were asking, "Do they want McDonald's to retire Ronald McDonald?" So they had. They were having mom, they were having women, like mothers, saying yes, no, maybe so. Some of them were silent moms, but yes, no, maybe so. So some of, all of them said no. Say, and some were men, so some were men, so like, they said no, no. Because the people have too much time, and they complain to the media too much. And plus, now they have a website called lettertomcdonalds.org. And, oh my word, why an open letter to McDonald's? system, making treatment more difficult than ever, noting every different point that it comes to treating between pantry and marketing and the rate of writing dietary illness. And then change when it broke people. <laughs> Why? And plus, the ad. There's an ad making saying, "Stop marking the junk food to kids because it's gonna kill kids." I don't care. I don't care. I'm skinny and I need to eat junk food. I need to be fat. I don't care. Do you understand? And if you soccer monster starting to complain at me, I don't care. I'm going to delete your comment. Shut up. Lord. Just don't eat the junk food if you don't like it. I mean, now there's criticism on every junk food place. Well, not, not every junk food place. Mm, for the big free, like... At the big free places like McDonald's, Burger King, and what's the other one? Oh yeah, Wendy's. Wendy's. Well, not Wendy's. Wendy's mascot is the girl. She doesn't. She doesn't appear in commercials. Okay. Okay. McDonald's has been getting criticism due to Ronald McDonald, due to all those stupid idiot soccer moms. Because they're a bunch of idiots. You know, like, come on, man. I 
I mean, come on. I mean, Speedy didn't get criticism. Speedy did never have criticism. Speedy, the first McDonald's mascot was fine, but after, but Ronald McDonald never did criticism. Get criticism until 2009 or is it? So like, um, let me think. Let me think. Think, let me think. Hmm. 2006 or 2000? Yeah, 2009 and 2011. So it's because of those soccer moms. So people who hate soccer moms like me, should you should blame soccer moms. You should blame those idiots. You should, because I really do hate them, and they should just, just stop. They should be put in jail for, like, illegal complaining. And there should be a new law for, for illegal complaining to the media. They, they, and there should never be any complaining to the media. I mean, come on, man. And plus, I, I need to tell you this, because some cereals are being pulled out of Captain Crunch. If you want to learn to find out why, listen to Ben's rant, Puppy Zillaman 4, by Puppy Amy, by, listen to Ben's rant, Ben's rant of Soccer Mom. From soccer moms. Uh, let's see what it is. I'll give you this, and I need to get in. Um, oh, frick. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so a little nervous. Let's see. If only I can type. Let's see what how much time I have left. Okay, I'll have a little time left. <sighs> okay, it's... It's... Ben Lance Soccer Moms by Puffy Zillaman 4 Ben aka Ben okay just type in Soccer Moms go for, go down so a little quick okay just um you know and then you'll find him just listen to his rant Plus, you'll find find out more why cereals are being pulled out, and then there's television too. Why soccer moms? Why is television being so so like soccer momish and all soccer moms? We can't even have a dope content and some channels. Now it's all because of Nickelodeon because of uh, bad content now. I mean, so stupid. TV now is like really dumb. And plus, there's the TP BTC. BTC. Ugh, I've already ranted about them. Listen about that. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so can't explain all of this. So, uh, that's my rant. And. Shout up soccer moms and stop blaming the media. This is only 10,000 signing.